So I want to show you some flight footage that looks like this. And I use the ND8 filter for the first few flights and the ND16 filter for the second few flights just to look at the differences. And I did the settings according to this chart right here. So I want to go over this just briefly during the video showing you how to compare this chart to the settings in the Mavic since the aperture is fixed on the Mavic. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Now the first flight video you're going to be seeing is with the ND8 filter. And here's how I did the settings. I'm going to do a focus here first. Okay, go in these triple lines here and just click on that. Now we want to be in manual for this. In other words, if you're over here on auto, just click back on manual like that. And if you look at this chart over here, what we're trying to do is get the EV down here or center of the chart to be near zero. So we set the ISO to 100 because that's recommended for cinematic look. And we're also going to be using a frame rate of 24 frames a second for a cinematic look. So we want a shutter speed that's around 48. But we can't really choose that with a Mavic, so we're just going to choose 50 for that right there. Now it's a little bit bright because that's because of the ND8 filter. We're not really at zero, but we're as close as we can get with the ND8 filter. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Now in the camera settings, we have a video size and frame rate. So we got 2K video at 24 frames per second. So that's that. Now, for the white balance, we have sunny day which is the best I can do with what the conditions are. Could go with custom and use this slider, but I think uh, Sunny Day will do the trick for now. Okay. Now under the gear icon, I have some other settings like uh, up at the top there is a uh, histogram, which I have set on. And overexposure warning down at the bottom here is on. Now you see that there's some grid lines on the screen right here. And if I go back in that same area, you can go in and turn off the grid if you don't want it. It can be good to line up your shots if you want it, but I'm going to turn it off for now for this test. So we're ready to fly. So let's go get the footage with the ND8 filter.
Okay, so now we have the ND16 filter on, and we're going to look at some flight footage with that. But first, I just wanted to go over the settings. So under the gear icon, everything is still the same. I haven't changed anything. And then under the camera settings, we still have the same video size and frame rate. Okay, and then over here, we have the same settings but now you'll notice the EV is a little bit lower than it was with the ND8 filter. So in the middle of the chart right here we've got that closer to zero by putting on a darker filter and bringing the light down through the aperture of the camera. So we have a fixed aperture on the Mavic so this is the only way you can get this EV down. So everything's looking pretty good so let's take a look at the flight footage with the ND16 filter. So I hope you enjoyed some of my first flight video and my explanation of the camera settings. If you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And you can give me a thumbs up if you like the video. So we'll see you next time for some more Mavic fun. Here,